Welcome back everyone. In this video we're going to be taking a look at Python comparison operators and how we can return boolean or true and false values as a result of performing a comparison. Let's open up a Python project and take a look. I'm here in Robot Mesh Studio and I'm going to create a new project. For my target I'm going to choose Vex V5 Mimic although everything I'm about to show you will also work on an IQ Mimic. Recall that a Mimic is just a simulation of the VEX hardware. I'm going to select VEX v5 Mimic. Language is going to be Python. And for options, I might want to call this um, Comparison Operators. Oops. OK. And hit Create. So often you're going to want to check for equality. So to do this, it's just double equal signs. So for example, if I were to type print, P-R-I-N-T, you can see it's a special keyword, and print does two equal two. So two equal signs test for equality. This is very different from uh, when we're assigning values to a variable, such as uh, my variable, where we might use a single equal sign to assign the value 2 to a variable. So be mindful of the difference. Two equal signs is testing for equality. One equal sign is assigning the value to a variable. I'm going to get rid of this. And let's run our code and see what happens. So does 2 equal 2? The answer is true. Recall from an earlier lecture that Robot Mesh is using Python 2. So we have some options available to us with regards to the styling of the print command. Um, I can either use or not use parentheses. And uh, these, this command will work exactly the same way. So if you are brand, brand new to Python, I would encourage you to build a good habit and get used to doing this the Python 3 way so that when the software moves up to the next version of Python that none of your programs break. So in the spirit of that, let's test and see if this works using parentheses. So here we have 2 equals 2. We'll run our program. It equals true. And if I change this to does 2 equal 1 and run my code, we now get false as our return result. Now you can use this not just for numbers, but for basically any object. So if I wanted to say, for example, compare string objects, I could type something like uh, is hello equal to goodbye. And let's run this comparison and see how the evaluation turns out. So hello equal to goodbye, the answer is false. Um, you can see here that it doesn't matter if I mix and match uh, double quotes and single quotes as long as I open and close with the correct style of quotation mark. So if I open with a double quote, I need to close with a double quote. Open with a single quote, I need to close with a single quote. Uh, we can also see here that if I change this to does hello equal to hello and run this comparison that it's equal to true but not if I change the capitalization of the word hello. So if I compare this to say does lowercase hello equal uppercase hello and run this comparison will get false because uh, Python considers a string object that is in lowercase um, to be different from a string object that is in uppercase letters. Another example we'll see is when comparing different data types. Uh, here, for example, we have the string 5. So I'm going to change this to be 5. And we're going to compare this to the number 5. So one is a character and the other is a number. Let's run this comparison and see how it turns out. So we can see that the string 5 is not equal to the number 5. Whereas if I were to change this to be both numbers and run this code, it's now true, as is the case when they're both string objects. Let's run this. And we get true again. For floating point numbers or decimal numbers, as long as they hold the same value, they will be true. So in this case is 2.0 equal to 2. And we'll run the comparison. And the answer is true. So that is equality. Uh, for inequality, we can use the exclamation point equal sign. So for example, we could test and say is 3 not equal to 3. 
and let's run this test and see what comes up. The answer is false. If I were to change this to is 3 not equal to 34, we'll run the test again, and now it is true. We also have the greater than, so I can say here, for example, is 1 greater than 2. And the answer is false. Is 2 greater than 1? And the answer is true. Then we have less than, so we can say is 1 less than 2. We'll run the comparison, and the answer is true. Is 2 less than 1? And now the answer is false. And finally, we have greater than or equal to and less than or equal to. So I can say is 2 greater than or equal to 2. And we can see that the answer is true because 2 is equal to 2. Um, we can perform a very similar test by going is 4 less than or equal to 1. And we'll run this program. And the answer now is false. So far, we've just been taking a look at performing one comparison between two objects or two numbers at a time. In a future video, we're going to learn how to chain comparisons so that we can evaluate and test for multiple conditions on the same line using what's called logical operators. Now, if you've happened to enjoy this video, please consider pressing the like button. My job depends on it, and I know you secretly like me. And then also consider hitting the subscribe button for regular updates on using Robot Mesh Studio in Vex Robotics competition.